What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you an AI receptionist that I built for a plumber that can handle appointment booking and add leads to the database and also follow up with those leads when they book an appointment. So let's get into the video. My name is Stefan, the founder of Genify AI. At Genify AI, we create custom AI solutions for businesses. So if you need any custom AI solution for your business, make sure to reach out to me through email or book a consultation on my website at genifyai.net. Everything will be linked in the description. And if you're not sure, where to implement AI into your business or how to implement it effectively. That's why I built my AI consultation. So if you're not sure on where to integrate AI, you can get on a consultation with me and I'll map out your business and show you where AI can be integrated to make your business more effective and efficient. Let's get into the video. All right, so for this agent, we're gonna be using NADN and Retail AI. So as you can see here, this is the backend agent and this is the main agent. So let's call it real quick and see how it works. So we have a database here. I'm gonna ask it a couple questions first. Then we're gonna schedule an appointment. So let's go. Hi, thanks for calling XYZ Plumbing. This is Alex. How can I help you today? Hi, my sink is leaking. I can help you with that leaking sink. To get someone out to fix it for you, let me schedule a service appointment. What's your full name? My full name is Stefan Evans. Thanks, Stefan. What's the property address where you need the sink repaired? 123 Maple Street. Got it, 123 Maple Street. When would you like the technician to visit? What date and time works best for you? Let's do tomorrow at 2 p.m. Perfect, tomorrow at 2 p.m. works. What's your phone number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Uh-huh. Thanks. And what's your email address? StephanAgentify at gmail.com. Let me confirm I spelled your name and email right. Your name is spelled S-T-E-F-A-N-E-V-A-N-S, -E -E and your email is s t dash e dash f dash a dash n dash a dash g dash e dash n dash t dash i dash f dash y at gmail.com. Your phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine. Is that all correct? Yes. Perfect. I've submitted your service request, Stefan. A technician will call you shortly to confirm your appointment for tomorrow at 2 p.m. to fix that leaking sink. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, thank you. Have a nice day. You too, Stefan. Thanks for calling XYZ Plumbing. Have a great day. As you see, you can hang up. And it just added me to the Google Sheet. As you can see, it's the city is static because you don't want to be working all over the place. And let's see here. We got my email, number address problem there we go then here in the calendar we have the plumbing appointment for stefan evans invited my email put the leaking sink as the description and then the summary is here and let me check my email as we can see we got a plumbing appointment confirmation this is a confirmation for a plumbing appointment regarding a leaking sink the plumber will be arriving to your address 123 maple street at november 4th 2025 at 2 p.m pst so as you can see, it knows that tomorrow at 2 p.m. is November 4th, which is pretty cool. So let me show you guys how to build this. So first you're gonna need to create an account on retailai.com. Once you do that, you're gonna want to go here, to your dashboard, and then go to agents, and then click create an agent, click voice agent, and then do the multi-prompt agent and click create. Now, once that's done, I'm going to go into your AI voice agent. So mine's a uh, multi-prompt. We're going to go into that. And then here, you want to give the agent an identity. So I'll have this uh, full prompt linked in my free Discord community in the description, as well as the download to this workflow. And if you want to import this AI agent, you just click go to here, import, and then drag and drop the JSON file for my Discord server. Then you will have this prompt here telling it what it is and how to act. And then here you'll have 
this prompt tree, right? You'll click edit prompt tree. And now this new state. So the first state is basically, imagine there's three people working in this call center. One uh, tries to see the intent of the person and then routes it to the other two based on their intent. So here, we see in the prompt, you're handling the start of an inbound call. Job is to greet the caller and determine what they need help with based on their response route the conversation to to the appropriate task and we have the steps and then here we have if the caller wants to schedule service transition to appointment scheduling and if they have general questions transition to faq answering example i'm looking for a plumber blah blah blah. do you do remodeling work uh, do not handle the request directly here just identify tent and transition and then here we have these edges so we drag this edge into here and then here we put in the edge trigger when the person has to book an appointment. Then the appointment booking, it asks these questions one at a time. You will have this prompt once you import it, everything into here. As you can see, it asks to spell out, it spells out the name to confirm. Then when everything is confirmed, it invokes this tool, the lead submit info tool. So the way to create that tool is you click add. And then you click custom function. And then within that custom function, you go to N8N, you create a webhook, you copy it and make the HTTP method post, paste it here, name this submit underscore lead underscore info one. And then here in the form, you would add this information. So this is basically the information that's sending to N8N. As you can see, it's sending the name, date and time, phone number, address, Playing problem and email to that webhook. And then here we have FAQ answering. So this is whenever someone is uh, asking something in general and it uses a database. So how does it use that database? We have this knowledge base here called Plumber DB. I showed that earlier as all this, uh, all these questions uh, and answers. And then it can read through those in real time when someone asks something. So you add that, and then you tell it here to retrieve that information through the knowledge base. And here it instructs it how to answer, retrieve answer from the knowledge base, deliver answer clearly and directly, wait for the response, offer to help, further assistance, ask if they need help with anything else. If the caller wants to book an appointment, transition to the appointment scheduling agent. So here we'd put two edges, one that goes from the top down to here, top down to here. And then in the edges, there, we put the path condition. So let's go into the NADN part of it. So I'm just gonna pin this execution. Give me a second. Copy to editor. Okay. So first the webhook, it will output all this information, including the transcript, but that's if you want to log that. As we see, this is the full um, transcript. And then down here, we have the information that passed through the submit lead info tool. Phone number, date and time, everything. So then we give the AI agent the information. So as you can see here, date and time. So to give that information, you just go down here where it is. For some reason, it's always at the bottom and then you just drag it in each block and then you put the current date and that's how it knows what date it is. So when you say tomorrow at 2 p.m., it knows, okay, today is November 3rd, tomorrow is November 4th, 2 p.m. And then here, you're a plumbing scheduling assistant. Your job is to schedule people in the Google Calendar for their appointments. We give it the tools, the Google Calendar create event, Google Sheets of Pen Row and Gmail send message. And then we just tell it how to use those tools. So Google Calendar uses tools to schedule appointments, Google Sheets uses tool to add leads, Gmail send message, use this tool to notify the lead that a plumber will be coming over in the given time format and format it within and format it with markdown. Rules, always use the Google Sheet tool to add leads. When adding the date to Google Sheets, format it correctly. Example, tomorrow at 2 p.m. to that. So you can see here. Okay. And then we have the tools here. So we have the pen row. So you would create a Google Sheet. And in the top columns, you put all this information in. 
and then connect it. I have a video that's linked in the description on how to connect to your Google credentials, which you can watch. And then we just connect everything. And you can make the city static depending on how wide your operation is. And then here where it says name, I'll just X out of that. You'll have this here, right? Let them all define by this parameter. You just click that and then the AI will define it itself. As you can see here, it'll know. Here, create event. We also just let them all define the start and end. And then here you can add more options by clicking add field. You can add attendees, description, and summary and let the model define that. And then here in the send message, you would put it to the same person because the same, sorry, you would put it to a static person, but here I just put it, you put it to a variable, but here I just put it to a static. So the way we put that to a variable is you go back here to webhook. Go down here to where the email is. You can see. And then you would drag it to the two and then let them all define the subject and message. And then you go to options and turn on. I'll just delete that to show you guys. Add option, append and attribution, turn that off. And there you go. That is how you set up this full AI agent. It's pretty simple. I'll have the download to both these workflows in my Discord server for free. If you need any customized solutions for a business like this one, feel free to reach out to me via email or book consultation linked in the description. Or if you want to learn this stuff yourself, I have a full course almost ready in my school community. The current price is only $37 a month. And when that first course is out, the price will be going up to $47 a month. So lock in these prices now so you won't be having to pay $10 more while you're going through the course. That course will teach you how to build an end in like a pro and sell these AI services to businesses or integrate them into your own business. See you guys there and see you guys in the next video.